Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? Thank you for being here. Um, I am. My name is Isa Dadush. I'm the director of the General Service Department with the City of Houston, and I'm proud to be part of the team. What I call this, the one team, the city and the county working together to deliver is to deliver a building to the King Kingdom <coughs> community. This has been a partnership between between us and the county, where the city. Uh, design and build the facility to meet the standards of the county and the county will be operating this facility and I hope that this is this is going to set the stage of how we're going to be working together in the future and, and I'm hoping Rhoda we can do that more often uh, more and more. Uh, let me give you just a quickly a quick briefing uh, I'd like to introduce uh, well people people behind me over here don't need an introduction of course Commissioner Jerry Eversall everybody knows uh, Council Member Sullivan over here, uh, uh, City of Houston, Director um, Joe Turner, Parks and Recreation Department, who, who also happened to be a Kingwood resident, and of course Rhoda Goldberg, Director of Library from the County, and Dr. Lawson from the uh, City of Houston Library. Uh, the, this, this building over here, was what you're looking behind you, is a, it's a 29,000, almost 30,000 square foot facility. And the total construction cost for this facility is uh, about 6.1, 6.8 million dollars. That does not include the land. It is my understanding that the project will be uh, uh, will will have approximately 170 public access computers and 20 laptops for public use, and that the library collection will have approximately 130,000 volumes. So that's that's going to be a great. It's going to be pro it will be providing a great service to this community. With that said. I would like to first um, ask Council Member uh, Sullivan to come over here and give brief remarks. Thank you, Issa. I want to welcome everyone here. Uh, you know, when I first walked up, I stood over here and then I looked at Eversol and I said, Can I stand by you? So, <laughs> good, proud to stand by him. And Commissioner Eversol, you're not the last one here. Court Kenning is the last one to walk up. Court, welcome. Uh, that's a good way for me to segue into introductions. I want to introduce Court Kenning, who's here representing Dan Patrick's office. Thank you for being here. Dan Huberty, President of Humble ISD Board of Trustees and a personal friend of mine. Uh, Dr. Martin Basildua. Martin, right there you are. Pardon me, I'm, I'm, my bifocals. Uh, Martin serves uh, as a member of our TERS board. And TERS board played an important role in this facility in that they contributed about $2 million to make it happen. So when you add the TERS contribution, the cost of the land and the library. We're looking at about a $10 million project, which we're excited to, to bring to this community. Um, the Kingwood Area Republican women are well represented here today. Betty Newton, the president, uh, Halleen Crossman, Skippy Lupton, uh, Nancy Fulton, of course. And that, is that, uh, those are our members. We're glad to be here. I'm an associate member of the club. You all play an important role uh, with literacy. Uh, it's, it's transcended each presidency and it will go forward. And I know that's important. And you have made, as far as I know, some of the first, uh, if not the first, contributions and donations of books to this library. And I'm proud to say that uh, we signed one and looking forward to seeing it here on the shelves. And really, y'all just keep up the good work that you've done. We're very proud of the work and look forward to more in the future. Uh, really, no other comments other than just saying that this was an outstanding project. I want to thank Commissioner Eversall for his role. You know, this project was essentially dead. It uh, was an idea. And then Bill White said that he wasn't, was not going to build a library larger than 20,000 square feet. Eversoll said he was not going to operate one less than 40,000 square feet. <laughs> and guess what? When you get Bill White and Jerry Eversoll disagreeing about something, then uh, it, it takes a lot of uh, effort to get it moving. But we ended up meeting in the middle. And we've got a 30,000 square foot uh, facility. Uh, Issa Dadouche, our Director of General Services, uh, has done an outstanding job in, in bringing together the best techniques and, uh, and vendors and, and contractors, architects, consultants, planners, engineers, and has delivered just an outstanding facility. And I know you hear that a lot, Issa, but you know I've really paid attention to this, and, and you've set a, a standard I think that's going to be hard to beat in the future. But I want to personally thank you publicly uh, for the efforts uh, that you put forth uh, for the Kingwood community. So with that said, sir, we'll turn it back over to you. But I want to thank everyone for coming. And we've got a special surprise at the end of the program, so don't leave, please. Well, uh, the next gentleman does not need any introduction. Uh, I'm going to ask Commissioner Eversoll to give a brief remarks, please. Thank you very much, Issa. And I apologize for being late. Usually it's somebody important from the city of Houston that's late. 
So uh, I, I apologize for being somebody unimportant from the county that you had to wait on. Uh, I, I, I uh, remember the uh, dispute between 40 and 20. Uh, I don't really know, uh, uh, Councilmember Sullivan, how we settled on 30, but I do feel like we won. <laughs> and I feel like the people of Kingwood and the surrounding area won also. A 20,000 square foot uh, library would, would please you for about 20 seconds. Uh, you cannot believe how filling a library up like this will make it antiquated and, and uh, impossible to work out of when it's too small. So uh, believe it or not, 30,000 is not going to please you in about six years. And uh, hopefully uh, Council Member Sullivan will have an answer for that. <laughs> and uh, we can come about doing what we need to do to make uh, a, a proper library. I thank the City of Houston for its participation. I offered several times to swap roles with them and let us build it and then pay for the uh, operations for the next hundred years. Uh, City of Houston was not agreeable to that, so uh, we, we took the role and we took it proudly. Uh, I appreciate the City of Houston's library department, our library department, for uh, the role that each played in bringing this uh, uh, library, this facility, to this community. And I look forward to, to hearing the great remarks that we're going to hear from it. Again, uh, Council Member Sullivan, thank you for uh, your participation and thank the City of Houston for what uh, uh, they have provided for all of our constituents. Thank all of you. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can answer the question concerning the uh, the thirty thousand square foot library. <laughs> you don't mind if I do that. Uh, when we when we designed the, when we designed the building, we for, for sure we made sure that it it met the county standards because we have we we have di different standards, and it's a good standards. The library has uh, the county library has excellent standards, but we designed it with 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 a vision for for potential expansion in the future. So I just want you to know that. So when six years from now, when we're ready to expand it, we'll be ready to do that. Um, second thing that I want to say that the existing library is twelve thousand. So this one is almost 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 three times as much. Uh, so. With that said, I would like to ask uh, the director of the uh, Houston Public Library, Dr. Lawson, to come and give brief remarks. Right. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Hi. This is not the first partnership uh, with Rhoda and I. We work on a number of things together. But it is always a pleasure uh, to be a part of a process that brings to a community access to information resources. And so, for that reason, we are very, very happy to be here. The Houston Public Library is proud to have been a partner in this venture, and I'd like to particularly thank the staff that has been a part of this project. That's Wendy Hager, uh, di uh, Assistant Director for Planning and Facilities, and her team. Wendy, would you let people know who you are? Uh, Mella Langford, our Deputy Director of Public Service and Greg Simpson, our Assistant Director for Communications. Uh, all I get to stand up here, but they, they really were the drivers in getting us here today. So it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we always enjoy working with Rhoda and her team, and I, this is a fabulous facility, and we are glad to play a role in bringing it here. Thank you.